Hello and welcome back to Undermine. I'm Modi Aparan as we are back in the other mine Golden Core update, ready to take on a new challenge here. And we have an interesting loadout this time around. We have, first of all, a float boot right off the bat. I love that as an option here because that's usually a sign of a good run. We have the gin, which is going to be very, very helpful. Find new secrets. We have ourselves a increased throw speed blessing, which is the first time we've seen this one. I just unlocked this recently, spending some of our hard earned thorium and uh, managed to unlock that one. Um, and then we also have the faster swing speed. I'm going to go with the uh, throw speed, though. That sounds good to me. Um, there is uh, there are there are things that will mitigate that, though, too. I mean, we have other um, options to increase throw speed, but it is something over here. We have sweaty fingers. Or we have shops are converted to health. Um, that one's easy enough to get around. And honestly, we can make that one work for us. So I'm going to grab the blood offering one for now. Just so I don't lose any keys. We'll try to get rid of that as soon as possible. And because we do want to go with the extra challenge of trying to get this achievement, we're going to try to take Siegfried's Aegis. This has profound effects and has unremovable curses. We tried this last episode and actually I've tried this a couple times in between and it did not go very well. Um, the first time we tried this, the curses were not that bad. We died because of problems with uh, Seer. I'm over that as much as I can be, I think, at this point. We'll have to keep trying it. I'm not perfect at it and I'm not perfect at any of these things. But now we have the added dimension of some pretty bad curses and let's see what this one's gonna be blessing eater killing enemies destroys a blessing so that changes the scope of my entire run then because now if i it becomes a race between blessings and killing enemies and i don't have much control over that so I think in this case, we're going to have to try to get as few blessings as possible and focus more on loot because there's a, ch I mean, if I don't kill enemies, I can't get, I can't get through a lot of the game. And if I, if I do kill them, I might lose some blessings that I wanted. So we need hundred percent to rely on equipment and rely upon, um, uh, upgrades rather than blessings and so the first thing i'm going to do is remove the curse we have uh as or off the bat take that 50 damage remove that curse which is going to cost us health at the shops instead of gold um from what i've seen in the past we don't the the upgrades the upgrades don't oh god the upgrades aren't part of that so um you know like buying a, a, a swing damage upgrade something like that it's it's not uh considered part of the health for for instead of gold part so they that would still that would still cost us gold I'm gonna get this guy out of, to charge us if we can make sure we get the gold before they get to it oh that's a big one there hey don't get that one Let's see if we can kill have him kill these guys Killed the meat, didn't he? Oh well. We're not doing a lot of throw damage. If you saw that, it was doing the nine and ten. It's not good. We got to get that up somehow. Yeah, we have zero upgrades for that. So let's get some blessings. Not the blessings. We have to get the uh, all the relics we can. So I'm not going to waste any keys or bombs getting any kind of uh, blessings this time around. We're going to lose this throw speed one, which is again not the end of the world. Okay. Um, I do want this. We can get this pretty safely. I don't think I'm going to take any curses here. Because again, blessings probably pop out of there. And as we said, we're going to lose those blessings. So we're not going to worry about it. Over here, we're going to take a look at the shop. Because we did spend that money to get some options here. Okay. Uh, we have 150 to spend on that. Um, I'm going to take the 50 bucks here on that. And that's 400 for that one. I'm going to spend the 120 on a key then too then we have a, a bomb we have a key we have a little bit of health can't afford the uh the potion Ooh, we got some free health there that's awesome and just some free money let's make sure the pilfers don't get any of this this time around 
Oh, really? If it lands on top, you just take it then, huh? You're not even going for it. You just take it. I guess they are slimy. If it lands on top of them, they probably can't help it. Let's be real here. That guy got away. Had I not spent that money, I might have been able to throw that, get that throw, uh, throw distance one up. That's all right. It's only happens every 50, so it's not that bad. There might be some, there might be some reason to go get those blessings then in general. Um, I'm going to say we can't afford that one. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say, I'm going to say we shouldn't do the reroll here either because we're not going to have enough money left to buy anything. So yeah, it's, it's only, we only killed four enemies on this floor. So really, at this rate, I mean, we're going to have to run into some floors where there's going to be a lot of enemies to kill. But also, if I use the... There was more than four enemies on this floor. If I use the other uh, enemies to kill their friends, we can avoid that curse also. So maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe I can get some blessings still. And uh, it'll be effective still. We have... Okay. Another dimension to this now. We lose max health when killing enemies. I am a little uncertain how we're going to deal with that. Again, similar situation. If I can leave this room right now, this this, this guy's still alive. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to let this guy get killed by this, this thing here right now, too. And not going to attack them directly. Because... Um... I can't, I can't afford to kill anything. There we go. See, that's what we got to do. <gasps> oh, we got to not get hit though. That's part of this too. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. I'm going to use the room to our advantage now. Again, if I can avoid killing anything, I won't lose max health. I don't think it goes down very quickly. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good stuff. Good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. We also need to avoid, avoid things that are going to kill them inadvertently. Such as the... Um, such as, like, the electrical uh, damage when I pick up gold. That would we certainly would want something that's going to kill them indirectly. And it might still count. Get them. Good, good, good. We're slowly getting there. This is going to be a long, drawn-out process. But I can't afford, I can't afford to take these small risks. Like, these guys are the worst. Like, this is, this is a whole four enemies I have to take still. In the grand scheme of things, I can avoid these guys forever. That dude's dead. That dude's dead. Okay, good. Get him. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. Get him. Yes. All right. <laughs> Again, if I have to do this at every single floor, this is going to be tough. I do have the float boots, though, right? So I could use that to my advantage. Certain, certain enemies can't get to me. I got to take it slow, though. Here we go. This guy's got him. Yes. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. There we go. Finally. Okay. Got a secret here. Um... We'll take it. Ah, shoot. Well, it could have a bomb in here, so let's do it. Hey, there we go. Perfect. And now we could bomb into here and get the shop open. Gonna have to use a bomb anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Let's get to it early. Get more increased health. That's a great idea. That'll help us uh, overall here. That'll help us overall with the, um, the curses that we have. Uh, I don't want the health just yet. I'm not ready for that. I do want the bomb, though. And this is going to be open now, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, let's see what we can do here. I don't know what we can do here. This is just going to be bad. If this, I have to kill all these things? I have to kill 20 enemies here? That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, I have to use the spikes to kill them then? <laughs> oh, my God. This is just going to be a Pied Piper situation throughout the game. 
That was good. Got to get them all together if I can. Lead them through this. <laughs> it's going to be so slow to play this through this way. But it's the only way to do it. Alright. Maybe don't do it for all of them. Nobody's getting hit by that now? Come on. Like, if I, if I kill all these guys, I'm going to lose so much health. That's good. That one in the middle there is the, the, the real, the real kicker here. This one here. They hop right over it, though. That was good. Oh, we got a lot of them that time. Good, good, good. We're doing it. It's just taking forever. Ooh, well, that was what I was trying to avoid, if I could. There we go, one down. I gotta get the right distance away. Ah, oh, come on. All right, I'm only killing two here then. I can soften them up a little bit too. Oh, that's so I, must, I lost one health for that. So it's one health per enemy I kill. Come on, step on the spikes. You know you want to. There you go. Well, it took one minus health there. That's not too bad. If we keep getting the upgrades, keep being able to afford the upgrades, we'll be okay. That's okay. I'm okay with this. All right, so we do have 75. Ooh, I'm going to wait on this one. I might come back to this room. This is going to be a long episode. I'm already saying that right now. Okay, we have a situation here, which will be okay. Because they all get killed by these things. I need to kill them before I aggro that guy, though. Because that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now they're all aggro. I can aggro him now. He'll kill himself. So here, buddy, go, go to work now. Do that. Just gotta wait him out. Just wait here. I got. I got all day. Twenty at a time. No idea how much health he has left. Don't want to hit him to find out. All right. It's a smart play. You know, it's long, the long, the long play. It's a smart play. Another secret. And I have two bombs to spend on that. Let's do it. And is it worth it? <sighs> no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it because it costs us two keys to open that up then. It might be a choose situation, but I don't, I mean, I don't know for sure. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Come on, get back here. There we go. All right, this is worth the while. Let's do this. And this is actually very good because I can blow those things up now. So now, destroy ch empty chest for items. Okay, so I can destroy this chest here and get meat. Okay, it cost me a bomb to get that, though. Not the best. Not the best. There was nothing else in the shop here. Let's confirm that quickly. And there was health and meat. Potion bottle. It's only 26, though. Let's buy it. And we have to decide over here. It's 75 only to pull a lever. Let's do it. All right, well, that's fine. We have a, uh, you know, a one in three chance of that happening. Not too bad of odds. Just got unlucky. It happens. And right off the bat, we have a secret. I can't get into it just yet, though. 
Okay, we can kill with these guys, but it's very difficult. That's good. That's great. Now, I can't have them kill each other, I'm pretty certain. Oof. Yeah, they're not going to kill each other. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to take these hits. But you know, this is why we spent the whole time, last time, avoiding killing things. Because I now I have room to take a few lives. You know? Because we're going to, there's certain ones we have to. So I, anytime I can avoid it, I will. This sees the, doubles all costs. Doubles all costs. Isn't that wonderful? This gives me a bomb and a key and some meat for 420. I can't afford it, but let's see what's in here. All right, so one key to open that one up, two keys to open this one up. I can get one key. This is actually a better deal, I think, for as far as meat goes. We need a key to do it, though. All right. Well, at least the cost, doubles all cost things, doesn't apply to... Uh... This will be okay. As long as those spikes don't break... This guy can help us out, first of all. Let's make sure he doesn't blow up my meat. There's my key needed. There we go. One down. I don't think you can blow up spikes, so that's okay. Oh, that's negative. Shoot. I didn't want to do that. Good, that's good that's good he's almost done i'm sure this guy walks too slowly he heals back like 12 or 16 health by the time i i get to him he's not gonna he's not gonna kill himself by walking through the spikes i don't think yeah he's got 98 left well maybe but we get him down a little bit and then he walks with the spikes Yeah, maybe. So I keep him low enough that he walks through the spikes. He's to 20. He walks through the spikes now. Yes. That's good stuff. Okay. We have zero bombs still after all that. Um, yeah. I'm running low on health. The having to fight this way is tough. So this is a situation I can't do anything with these guys. I think b bombs would still be direct kills. So I would hope they're not. Maybe it's worthwhile to check if they would be. But I think the game just assumes there's certain kills I'm going to have to take. And maybe there's going to be enough opportunity to increase my max health that it'll make it worth it. Or make it pay off. I don't know. It's two keys to unlock that one. And in here, we got better healing. Or, I don't know. I don't think I want either one of those things. All right, boss room. And a secret there I can't get to. So now we're at a boss fight and I mean, depending on who it is, I mean, most options are gonna be bad there. I do have one key for some health at least, I can do that. And there's nothing in here I can buy. Not for the money I had, right? Could buy this. Okay, then I can at least get one more secret here. I can buy these fish here too, so let's do it. All right, that's fine. Choose, it's fine. We got 60 out of that. There's would again on us. 60 there, I think, as well. So that's fine. Um, Do I want to spend 100 on a meat? Not really. Let's open up the uh, secret here. Hopefully it's something I can actually get. Okay, that's something at least. Oh, but it says all costs are doubled. Oh, that's why it costs two keys to open that up. Ah, I see now. I see. All costs are doubled. Not just the money costs. All costs. Whew, boy. This is going to be a tough run. This 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 Aegis is going to be a tough call. I don't really think we get anything out of this either, necessarily. All right, boss fight. This is not my worst one. This is probably one of my best ones, actually. 
Unfortunately, my throw damage is so weak, though. It's going to take all day. I got 12 holes. I got 12 hole damage there. That's a little bit better. Oh, boy. Did that take damage there? I hope not. I got not hit twice. One hit walk, one hit walk. Then start wearing these things down. There we go. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad. I'm getting it. Little lightning damage, not too bad, not too bad, all things considered. Gotta try to hit the same one over and over again. Oh, God. Wrong direction. That was good. I'm trying to break enough of these things now. There's one more hit over on one of these. They're pretty weak, actually. Okay, we did pretty good. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Next, he's gonna make them wide. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh no no. We almost got him. We almost got him. Got this. We got this. We got this. This is no problem. Got it, got it. Oh, shoot, I got greedy there. I guess I expected him to stop or die. Either way. Okay. That was good. It did count as a death, though. <laughs> I don't think each one of those guys I killed counted as one, at least. Discover the blooper for popcorn? Do we already have that? Isn't that weird? That's very strange. A blueprint for popcorn. Is there a blessing, maybe? I don't know. That's interesting. We've already gotten that, though. There's golden popcorn. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, vigor, increased throw speed or explosions. Um, so this curse, when it removes a cur a blessing, will it destroy one level of a blessing or an entire blessing? Is it better to diversify or is it better to... I think it's better to diversify because it might destroy an entire blessing rather than the levels of a blessing. Um, gold hits floors with explosives. This would probably be better of the two. And the thing is, I have to take one. I can't just not. The gold hits the floor with explosives could cause accidental damage to the guys. And then I lose max health. The max health is only going down one per kill, and I've killed eight then with this with this curse so far. Um or thrown picks as to duplicate themselves. Also, similarly, could get me into trouble killing enemies I don't intend to. I think it's worth the risk. Now we have locks costs health or all enemies ignite the peasant. That's That can be mitigated. I can get around that. I don't plan to get hit a whole lot anyways. Plan to, but we can always try to remove that one too. You never know. I'm just interested to see how far we can get with this. We got drops two bombs. Dropping a bomb costs two bombs. Oof. These are all kind of bad. All pretty bad. 
Okay, so we can't use bombs. We can't kill things. That guy won't die to this. Will he die to, like, falling in here, maybe? That counted as a death. I don't think there's a way to kill these guys. Oh, God. And they lit me up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill him. There's no other way. I really gotta boost my throw damage. All right, bomb damage. See, seasoned popcorn. Food will sometimes duplicate itself. 111 for that one. 200 for that one. Oh, God, nothing's good here. Um, let me buy that for 200. And that's all I'm going to be able to afford right now. Okay. I think we go with this room here, even though it's more enemies that I have to kill. Um, there might be some chances for me to heal now. Oh, this is gonna suck. I have to kill that guy as fast as possible. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. There's so many things. We're just gonna have to kill here. We're gonna, we're gonna lose a lot of health here. Oh God, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what a run. That's so tough. That Aegis is so tough. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do another run here. We're going to go back to the hub. Um, I'm not too concerned about the nether cost right now. Let's just do another run here quick. Even though we're halfway through this episode already. Uh, I'm just going to go into it. And we have coffee as our thing here, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to go back in. We're not going to take the Aegis this time. We're just going to try it straight. Let's see if we can do any better. Take that guy. Take this guy. Take this guy. And lock shops are extra locked. And anybody's a nice peasant. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to have more locks to worry about. Let's open this up and maybe we get better load out here. All right, let's do it. Let's see if we can get a win here. Let's just see if we can get a win. All right. Restore some confidence. I broke those guys. I shouldn't have broke them. I mean, every single bit counts here, but we're playing through fast now. I don't remember don't have the float boots anymore. This guy's gonna kill himself any any minute now. Right up here, buddy. There you go. Now I don't have to make things kill themselves, but it's fun to still. We're getting lucky with the drops already. I'll take it. You know, sometimes it's gotta come together. Um, we can get some extreme stuff if we do a, a build here, right? That's free meat there. Cheap meat, anyways. Got cheap meat there, too. It's nice to be able to kill things again properly, though. We need to get, again, throw damage is where it's at for me. So if I can get that fixed early on here, we're in good shape. We didn't get a good drop set on the, the loadout initially. Maybe we can do better. So starting today, I should mention too, I'm starting a new series with Jay Beetle, a co-op series in Terraria in the 1.4 update doing master mode. Should be pretty amazing. Can't wait to check it out. Uh, 75 damage. Purge a curse for 75 damage. I'm gonna wait on that one. We'll wait. I do want to get rid of this curse. Um, let's take a look at the blessings available to us. Ooh, there's lots of stuff to smash in here. Something's gotta have something in it. Alright, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Okay, we got uh, more maximum health. Yes, let's take it. Less gold overall. Okay, that's fine. 
And then we have meat over here I can get. I don't think I need anything at the shop just yet. Let's grab that. Uh, the shop was 210 for a bomb or 50 for a bomb. We have to throw distance over here. Let's take it. Okay. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Let's keep going. This is, only, this is only a two minute floor. So, I mean, these runs don't necessarily have to take a long time. We do have the gin, but if I don't have any bombs, I mean, it's not a huge deal. Oh, we have a big choice to make. A big, big choice to make. All right, here we go. What's it going to be? We have the summon lightning when pickaxe is caught. Love it. And transport items. I got to take this. Uh, less swing speed, cost shop items, there's more. Um, but I love that the lightning, lightning when I catch the thing is good. That's great stuff. Not that I'm, I'm spanning too many, too many enemies when I do that, but it might pay off. It's still just a cool one. Right? It's, just, it's still just a cool item. Okay, so we have a choice here with the, uh, the duplicator. We can get Kurtz's stash or the battle standard. Let's take the Kurtz's stash. Uh, sometimes this pays off for us if we get a lot of curses, and I might just make this a nice cursed run here. But man, that, that last one with the... With all of the, the negatives... Oh, God. Um, for, uh, killing enemies. The pacifist route is not, not one I like. And really, I think when we win with the ages, it's going to come down to just having a good set of things. Oh, I got messed that up, but I got lucky. That's not bad. We're starting to feel a little bit better about this run. It is a little bit of luck involved, which is kind of the full point of the roguelikes, right? That's what you do this for. Um, It is expensive for the key doubler. Holy cow. I could drink this and get some... Get some uh, some of that cost down. This is probably going to be the blessing room. Well, let's do the blessing room first and get rid of a curse that way. Oh, it's, uh, it's you. Okay. Do I want to do that? do this first okay all right now we've decided about this room here let's do it three keys one bomb 30 hearts for a bomb so if I do this it costs me I get a bomb for costing me 30 health then I can buy this and I get 20 health back for cost or one bomb. It's not a good deal. Don't buy them both. Okay, let's go back down to the shop here quick and make sure I miss anything. Yeah, there is that, right? Uh, I could buy this upgrade right away. I do want to save my... Uh, what's, what's my throw distance right now? I need a little bit more. Okay. That's, that's about perfect. I'm not going to buy an upgrade, upgrade after that. That's the perfect distance for me. Because if you miss, it's not too it's not too detrimental if you miss. That's the big thing. If you uh miss a shot. It's not great. This is actually perfect because I can hit both of them with this. And she can't she can't attack me. Oh, she still got me though. Jeez. This is gold affects me a lot, looks like. Maybe 20% less. Yeah, it looks like 20%. We can get there naturally, so I'm not going to waste a bomb on that. 
Not that I have a bond of waste, so we'll wait. I think, I think from now on, I still have to try the Aegis runs. They're going to be really tough. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to take the right combination of curses. And I don't necessarily know how we're going to overcome some of these things. Let's do the battle room. Gold tooth is great. I'll take it. Go badly. This is very, very bad. I'm gonna die in this room. And I've again have bitten off more than I can chew. These rooms get so crazy if I can't kill things fast. I gotta get better. <laughs> I gotta get better at first of all, just better in general. And secondly, better at choosing when to fight these battles because it was not worth it to get the gold tooth there just to die. Um, what else did I get? I got a potion for fireballs. I used it right away because I, I needed it. Uh, I didn't know when I was gonna be able to do it otherwise. I didn't have enough damage. If I have enough damage, I can do it. It depends on what my damage is. How fast I can kill. Because if I can kill these guys quickly, I can survive okay. But if I can't, if I get the wrong combination of guys, like those two summoners, forget it. I don't know. So that's where we're at right now. That's going to do for this episode. We got two deaths, one episode. We'll try it again here. The Aegis is brutal. Um, and then everything else is just normal hard. So there's that. Also, I think I'm on Summoning Stone 1 now. That might be the factor. I don't know if Summoning Stone affects the uh, Undermine or not, or the other mine or not. I don't know if it affects the other mine. So that could be why we're having such trouble with it now. I'm going to try bringing it down to zero again next time we try this and see if it's any easier with the curse thing. I'm going to try the Aegis again because it's a enough challenge on its own. And I'll bring the Summoning Stone back down to zero to see if I can get a little further with that. I feel like we did okay the first time through. So maybe it's just a bad luck or something else. Who knows? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll be back for another one very soon. Stay tuned for more things to come. I don't know how much more I'll be doing of this update. Uh, we might revisit other Undermine when it goes to full release, um, which will probably happen later this year, it sounds like, in the next couple months. Um, and I'll have another stuff uh, going around around the channel with uh, Terraria coming up and um, other things I want to cover. So this, this might go on hiatus for a bit anyways, uh, just because we're at a, we're kind of at a brick wall with the, uh, the Aegis and the other mine. And we've covered a lot of what we can do in the game here at this point. I think what we can do is maybe do one more run in the main mine of killing Seer and then um, and then maybe retired after that. We'll see. Maybe I'll do one more with that. Then we can have all of the the uh, medallions for the thing. And then there's no telling if the progress in this carries over to the main game when it comes out. Sometimes they don't do that. Sometimes they will. When this has been in early access as long as it has been, I could see them carrying it over. But if they don't, then we have to start over anyways. So it's kind of, you know, where I want to stop with it then if we're, we're going to have to restart everything and recollect everything. So. Much more to find though. There's lots of relics to find and that might help us. If I go back into the main mine and do missions there, getting relics unlocked to help us in the other mine as well could be a good thing. That could be why I'm held back from really succeeding there is just lack of good relics. So we'll explore that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back for something else next time. Have a good night.